In this video, we will explore the panel link. Uh, we will give the brief overview what is used for. Uh, when you install the sheet link, you will get the sheet link, main functionality, and the panel link. You will see the list of all panel schedules in the model. And you have two options. Uh, first step is usually to select uh, the panel schedule, one or multiple panel schedules. Uh, at this exercise, let's see what we can do. Let's find, for example, PPE-2B. Okay, let's select that one. And what we he here uh, see, we have uh, electrical equipment and we have electrical circuit with their own respect, uh, respective parameters. Of course, let's uh, maximize a bit space so we can see them here. What we can do uh, just to see the schedule, we can open the schedule and this is how the template looks like. Uh, what we can do, uh, there are two options. First option is to export the panel link schedule as is, which means that it's a one-way uh, export. We export without ability to import back and we can export as a sheet link template. What it means, let's export first as is. If we click the export button, and we, by default, uh, check the key formatting of the schedules. Key formatting means that it's a one-way action. We just export to Excel. PP2B, let's put underscore key formatting. Okay. What we can see here is the schedule is exported as is here. You see these numbers cannot fit and so on. You, you can uh, resize them in the panel schedule itself so you can fit the data. Uh, if you take a look, uh, schedule or Excel file is broken down into header, summary and the footer, which consist and they are assembled in a main sheet here. So yes, this is how it looks like. Of course, if you have a company logo image, it will appear here and similar things. This information you can edit here, but you cannot import back to uh, update the model. Let's close this one. And for the other type of export, if I click export and I untick the key formatting of the schedules, we can now export to Excel. And let's call this one pp-2b. It is exported. And what we can see here, is a standard sheet link template. Whenever you see template like this, it means that you can import back the data in the model. So you, I can edit uh, uh, values, parameter values here and import back. If I go to equipment, you will see that we have tabs for electrical circuits and electrical equipment. Let's go to equipment. And uh, as an example, we can put here 120. And for this one, we can put value of 20. MCB or minimum circuit breaking rating. So we updated values here. What we can do, we can click save. We can minimize the template and we have option to import data back. Okay. Model updated successfully. And we can now see that values are updated correctly. Means rating is 120 and uh, uh, circuit breaker rating is 20. Okay. And that is it. Uh, values are not uh, text here. These are parameter values that are updated in the model. So let's just confirm briefly by using the one filter. Uh, in one filter, we can easily find, uh, for example, electrical equipment. Let's find the instance panel name. And we can find the panel name PP2B filter. And let's uh, isolate element and let's right click show element. And that is the uh, PP2B. And of course, we can see that means is 120, MCB rating is 20. So it means that we updated model successfully. Uh, so to summarize, let's go to the panel link. You choose the panel the schedule, you have a list of panel schedules then you will see the list of parameters on electrical equipment and the circuit level. And you, you can use the sorting options. And the key point here, uh, by default, we export schedules as is, which means that uh, values will not be possible to import back in the model and update. But if you export 
without keep formatting you will export in standard sheet link template so you can populate the values and import back to update the model you are now maybe wondering why is this uh, wh wh what's the difference why don't i use just a sheet link and i find the electrical equipment and circuits the main point here is that you will export only elements that are within the given uh, panel schedule this uh, electrical equipment and these circuits okay so you will not export all you will se select only specific ones for that panel schedule and you will have options to easily update the values whenever is possible and uh, for example these are read only values these are modifiable or editable values thank you and uh, see you in next video